Hello, I'm Andrew Swarbrick, a Chartered Member of the Chartered Institute of Architectural Technologists, CIAT. I'd like to thank TU Dublin for the invitation to present as part of the Leading Light Lecture Series in advance of the presentation of the Moy Materials Scholarship for Architectural Technology. It's really great to see Moy Materials continued and increased support of students. I remember the award that I received in my third year of studies of architect from Brian Conroy. I also directly benefit from the scholarship as I have spent the last year working with the first recipient who is now forging her career at a Mapping Bike Architects. So Brian, I can verify that my materials investment in future architectural technologists is a worthy initiative. Keep up the good work. I hope that some of my words today will resonate to some of you as you progress through your early stages of your career or maybe calm some of the emotions or overwhelm as you navigate through your studies. As I look back, I realise why there is such a heavy workload, such an amount of information to digest and dissect. The architectural technologist profession can be so vast on the one hand, but on the other be exacting and precise. I listened to the recent president of CIAT, Eddie Weir, speak on what is an architectural technologist. Eddie said that an architectural technologist is the Swiss army knife of architecture. Bear with me, I do have uh, some props. Um, I have to admit, I nearly injured myself taking that photo and potentially could injure myself as I speak. So I am gonna put this in. But as I look at my Swiss army knife, I can relate to what Eddie was saying. There is a huge array of tools. Some are specialist for a specific task while others can be used to complete multiple tasks. I have also found that some can be used not as intended, but still get the desired results. Some are my go-to tools, which I use regularly. I have confidence in them, I have mastered. Others I have not yet used, but I know they are there. And if the situation arises, I will be able to use them if called upon. My career as an architectural technologist has never stopped moving forward since I graduated. I am learning from project to project and ever honing my skills and understanding of our profession. It has been 12 years since I graduated. In 2010, Ireland was going through a recession. So I jumped at the chance to get work when offered a job in the UK. I have heard Cormac Allen speak about the importance of getting work, not rushing and taking your time over the initial years of your career to find your feet explore different avenues of the profession. This is really good advice. Be patient, don't rush, but put in the effort and get the experience. My career to date has been spent in architectural practices, two years in Brooks Architects and then six years in PRP. Both of these are based in the UK. These practices played a pivotal role in my career development. At Brooks Architects, I saw drawings that I worked on turn in, into something real coming out of the ground. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was here that I built up confidence to pick up the phone and build skills in communication, write and answer emails, stand on site and talk to contractors and subcontractors. In PRP, I worked on larger scale buildings in different sectors. It was here I began learning about construction contracts, speaking to clients and coordinating design information between primary design consultants. I also achieved my charter membership at CIT during my time at PRP. This was a natural progression for me, and one of the technical directors at PRP supported me as I worked through my professional assessment. Achieving charter status gave me confidence by demonstrating my understanding of my experience to date amongst my peers. It reinforced my belief that I had found something that I really liked. A few things stood out to me as I look back on past projects. Hand sketching is a skill. Keep trying. You don't need to be an artist, but as a communication tool and a way to understand details, it is priceless. Get to sight see how things are built and talk to people that are looking at your drawings. 
because currently drawings will be printed at some point and interpreted by contractors. There is a skill that was formed when I studied about clarity of information. Make it readable so when it is printed on site and the A1 sheets are being pulled out in a site common amongst, amongst all the coffee cups, the information can be interrogated and site issues can be resolved effectively. As I noted earlier, I graduated during a recession. This steered my career in a direction. But my current thoughts have been impacted by the Grenfell Tower fire in the UK and the Micah Pyrite scandal here in Ireland and the building defects of the Celtic Tiger era of which my apartment is directly affected. These things make me pay attention to detailing and specifications how information is coordinated and described in our models and documentation. Are we creating difficulty for passive fire protection systems to be installed by the way in which our designs are developed? How are we ensuring high standards on site and that our buildings are safe? The world is moving through and hopefully towards the end of a pandemic. This has accelerated digital communications and collaboration. It has impacted our working lives. We are all waking up each day to read about the horrific humanitarian crisis unfolding in the Ukraine. What support can we give the people of Ukraine? The geopolitical landscape is being rewritten. The climate crisis is not going to disappear by itself. Will renewable technologies and their implementation pull us back from the brink? I mention these things not as something bad, that you could and I think will play a part in the solutions to the world's problems. So have a bit of awareness of the world events, but for now put all of your energy fully into your studies and I have every confidence that you will be equipped with the tools to adapt and excel upon graduation. I want to thank you all for listening and I wish you all the best with your continued studies and completion of the architectural technology degree.